So I just watched um, another Paz49 video. Um, brilliant YouTuber, by the way. Um, had the pleasure of meeting the guy once uh, around uh, Reverend, Simon, Simon's, Reverend Simon Simon's house. And uh, the guy was just fantastic. Um, and he's been very much on the pro-reform thing at the moment. And, you know, and he's still talking about it. And, and he does... He really does keep his nose to the grind, you know. He, he's he's producing lots and lots of content, uh, whereas I, you know, whatever. I lose I lose spirit and I go away for a couple of months and I come back and I make a few and then I disappear again, you know. So um, this is no slight on Paz. This is uh, what I notice about in the comments because obviously I'm assuming that all the people that are watching his videos feel very similarly as I do about the state of our country. Um, but there's far too many people that are still thinking reform is the answer. We just wait five years and then, then reform will really be able to do something. Right. What is it, the Albert Einstein thing, you know, like the, the, the definition of sanity, just repeat the same thing and expect a different result. Voting is not the answer. It is not. Okay. It, it can help in small amounts. It can send a message here, send a message there, and give people a bit of a lift. And over the next five years, you know, I am looking forward to some really nice bombastic speeches from Nigel Farage in Parliament where he's monologuing and, you know, like, and, and saying all the stuff, and it's like raw meat, isn't it? And you go, oh, yes, go on, Nigel. But it's not going to change a damn thing, and you know it. You know it in your heart and in your head. You know that it's not going to change anything. The only chance you have a proper change is by forgetting about that for now. Yes, enjoy the speeches and five years vote again and all that sort of stuff. But what are you going to do in between time? You're just going to wait as your country just deteriorates more and more and more. And it's going to accelerate. You know that, right? I, I was I, edging my bets with Labour. I was thinking there's a chance that they won't accelerate too much because Blair's pulling the strings. And Blair might be like, hang on, Starmer, we've got five years. You know, don't go mental straight away. But I, no, they're, they're, they're going to really screw us over. And they're going to do it a lot more quickly than... The Tories were, and that in itself is going to wake people up. And your job now, your responsibility, is to help those people to wake up. To not be afraid. Because I know what it's like, you know, you, you're there, and, and especially me, because I, I temp, you know, and I go into somewhere and it's complete strangers all the time. And I'm quite often going into places that are quite big businesses, or education premises, you know, uh, even government funded places. And, you know, you've got to there are some battles you have to choose, you know, this is, maybe that's not the hill I lose my job on today, you know, my ability to fund, but you know, you know the person, you, you can tell, you can see their reactions, they're not, they're like, they're frustrated, they, they don't want to say it out loud, you have to be the person that's there to let them, to let them know that it's okay, there's a safe space for people like us, and you have to help create that. You should go to protests, you should. And I said this a couple of days ago, so I won't go on about it too much. But, you know, when you when you do see your local MP or if you know who your mayor or whatever is, give them that dirty look. Let them know. Let them feel it. That's how we're going to do this. That's how we do it. That's it. It's The answer is not reform. And I actually would go as far as to say, if by some miracle reform had formed, you know, got a lot more seats or even formed the opposition or God knows even got to government... They ain't going to change anything. Not really. They're not. They're, they're establishment. They're just a different flavour. They're they're like the GB News or Fox News of politics. They're gonna they're gonna say what's allowed, what's permissible. They're not going to tear it up. They're not going to completely reform everything, even though their names reform. They're not going to do it. They're not. They won't do it. And now we won't know, obviously, because they're never going to get the government. But there you go. That's it. It's up to us. It's up to us people. We, the people of this country, who are not ashamed to say we love our country. To just be more firm and be more resolute. I had a real boost yesterday. I had a talk with my eldest daughter, who, um, who's a few years ago 
like while she was still in the education system, oh, she thought I was the worst person in the world. And now she told me she voted for reform because she looked at it and she thought, no, they're the only ones that like are saying anything sensible. I was like, okay, hallelujah. There are young people out there that feel the same way, you know. Um, so there you go. Help those young people. Help them. Nudge them along. Just do it. Do your little bit, for God's sake. You're going to feel better about yourselves. Anyway, that's it. That's my rant over. And I, I don't know, see you probably in a few months. <laughs> Bye.